been a long time coming. They ain't come from my clock, they took it. Putting up numbers, 99 pounds, and I still kept it a hundred. Hold up. Player, player, what's up? Hey, so I appreciate the uh, advice that I, I got on the internet about uh, doing less. Hey, I am, I guess you'd call semi-retired. I do all this stuff more or less for fun. Um, you know, it does become monotonous that the market never goes down. And it is the same trade over and over again. I really don't have much to say. So if you want to, you know, come and learn about what we do on a daily basis and you want to hang out in the chat room for an hour and a half, I mean, the day was over rather quickly today because we just stick to the same trade over and over again. The market tries to go down, you buy the cues, they go back up. UVXY tries to go up, you short it, it goes down. That tends to work every day. Do I need to keep saying that? Or Micron technology, right? It's a stock that reported earnings and it broke over the VWAP and it went up. And then later on it went down. So you could have made money on it, blah, blah, blah. Rivian, it's in the news. Yesterday it broke VWAP and you could have shorted it and made money, blah, blah, blah. It's the same day over and over again. And it's unhealthy at this point for me to sit here all day when really nothing goes on in the middle of the day. Today is a little bit different because you actually had a market that sold off a little bit later than it normally does and then you had an opportunity to buy it again because we never go down and then there was Rivian which broke down did this chart pattern chart pattern called the faux show bro and then it broke VWAP so you actually had something to do around uh, you know about a half an hour ago but that's not what I'm here to talk about I'll make this as brief as possible I'm looking for other adventures I don't know if I'm really going to get into politics. I don't know. I don't have the, the tolerance for stupidity, and most people are pretty stupid. I don't have a tolerance for people that think their opinion is the truth. I don't have the tolerance to try to convince people that they're wrong because it's like trying to convince people not to believe in their religion. If they believe in it, you're no matter how awesome you might make atheism sound or agnostics or whatever other religion, I'm not going to convince a Christian to become a Buddhist, right? Or vice versa. It's the same thing. If you think something is the truth, there's no way I'm going to convince you with either with facts and statistics and whatnot. So I have this cool idea called put up or shut up right it's based about trading and it's based on all the vitriol and awfulness that the internet provides right because anonymous skeptics anonymous haters or just anonymous people love to you know battle you on the internet knowing that you can't physically harm them. I mean, again, I'm not talking about, I mean, that would be great, but we'll get to that some other time. Imagine you could physically punch somebody in the face through the internet. That would be special. But put up or shut up, right? So for instance, I look at some of my feeds and the nonsense conversations that I have with who knows who these people are. Most of them are probably children, uh, literally living with their parents, trying to tell me what I know, or Again, there's this idea that there's paid pumpers on these websites. And I get there's some of that people that are paid. I don't think there's paid bashers as much as people think that every stock's being manipulated to go down. See, that's where a lot of people get the market completely wrong. The manipulation and that word is overused and used incorrectly. The manipulation 
is to keep markets up. The manipulation is to convince you that an IPO coming out, you need to own it because this company is doing such and such. And most IPOs are just dumps. IPOs are the parachute out of the company from the insiders. They're cashing out. And yeah, you'll get a Google once in a while. You'll get an arm once in a while. But most stocks continue to stink in a market that generally goes up. And that's why most people are confused and confounded by the market. So all that being said, wouldn't it be cool? So Joe Schmo just insulted my mother because I said that Rivian would be a great short yesterday. Fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about. The company just signed a deal with Volkswagen. This stock's going to be $22.50 by Friday. Cool. I don't really appreciate you bringing my mother into the conversation, but I'll bet you personally. Wouldn't that be cool? So you think it's going to be $22.50 by Friday. Let's make that bet. I'll bet you. And again, I think we should have we could have different parameters. So I'll bet you. First of all, I'll bet you that you're wrong. So obviously you love the stock, you've got some money at risk. How about a little side bet with Kenny? How about we bet, I bet Joe Schmo $50, and we'll all have separate accounts for these side bets. We'll call it put up or shut up, or side bets, something like that. And I'll be able to bet Joe Schmo that Rivian will not be $22.50 on the day that he says it will be, right? So when that day comes and the stock is not $22.50, the, the $50 is debited from his account and placed into my account. So put up or shut up. And then you could expand on that in so many different ways. So let's say Joe Schmo really wants to battle me. How about you say, not only will I bet you that you're going to be wrong, I'd also like to put some odds on it. How about I bet the stock is under 1750 by Friday for an extra 20 bucks, but you have to give me two to one odds because I'm making a specific prediction with the time. You know, it's okay to be, you know, again, we could have whether you're right or wrong for a certain amount of money, then price predictions to try to sweeten the bet, and then you could have odds where you have to pick the price and then you also have to pick the price and the time. So there's so many different variables there, but I think the best part about it is instead of insulting each other on the internet or saying, you know, I told you so or whatnot, legitimately take the money from the person that you're having this debate with. So there's no debate anymore. You lost. I have your money personally. I think that is one of the greatest ideas. So it's sort of like you don't even have to invest in the market. You just have to outsmart other schmucks on the website. So when they're pumping some bullshit stock, right, and you want to take some action, you just say, hey, this stock's a pump and dump. You'll have at least 20 people call, call you an asshole and insult your mother and say, okay, guys, Instead of insulting each other, I'll bet you all $50. I'll bet you 50 bucks this stock will be down 30% within the next month and a half. Again, the parameters could be set. You could have the I'm right, you're wrong bet. You could have the price predictions and the time prediction. I think there's a lot to do. And I think that would be so freaking cool. Because not only does it show you that you do know what you're talking about, but you're taking the money specifically from the people that were insulting you and telling you how wrong you were. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm gonna pitch that show and uh, hopefully they could work out the logistics. I'll be the host and uh, we'll just talk about it and we'll have guests on talking and we'll have like debates and then we'll bet. And again, the live show will be just a little part of it. It'll be an overview, but really it'll just be the website taking the action and you know, then you'd probably have to pay like a, a VIG or whatever to, to the website for negotiating the, the, you know, like the eBay, 
you know, the buyer and the seller, they take a little bit from each person. And uh, I think it'd be awesome. But um, listen, there is zero reason to be trading in a market that only goes up. So less is more. And if you do, if you are sitting here, right, you really just have to admire the, the comical nature of it all, right? So every time the market goes down, you just have to say, Haha, look how cute it is trying to go down. You know it's not going to go down. And you buy some 480 calls or some 481s for the end of the day. You know, just, just for shits and giggles, let me just take a look at what, what they were. So a little while ago, the queues sold off and then we were short and we covered and I haven't done a trade since. You know, so it was the 480 cover at around 11.52. So if you would have bought the 481s at that time, 481s, they were coming in at 50 cents and now they're a dollar 30, which that's not a bad, you know, payday on an option. So again, market never goes down. It's, there's no reason to fight it. One of these days when we start to trend down, you know, maybe there'll be a shorting opportunity. But for now, just every dip's a buy on the queues. It's the same day over and over again. A couple of earnings reversals, a couple of VWAP breaks on earnings reports, QQQ, and it really is the same day over and over again. And you're, again, I don't know if you've been doing this as long as I have, but if you've ever seen the movie Groundhog Day, it... It's alarming for Bill Murray to realize that he's living the same day over and over again. And then he's like, wow, this is amazing. I could do anything I want and do blah, blah, blah. And then he goes batshit fucking insane. I'm at the batshit fucking insane stage. Because it is kind of fucking weird how it's the same day over and over again. All right. Well... I'm going to go play pickleball. Hope you guys are having the greatest day of your life. And uh, farewell.